All right, so I've been away for a bit, so I'm getting to this story a whole 10 days later. But I know some of you want to know how I feel about this one, so let me go in quickly. First of all, there's a lot of people out there taking jail chances every day because they feel like they have to, to feed their family. So to hear this guy has been recalled for basically making music, yeah, it's kind of fucked up. Especially the fact that he got out like two months ago looking like a nigga that don't want to go back. So from there, you'll think that he won't do nothing mad to get himself recalled. But these guys got criminal behaviour orders to where they can't put out no violent music, but they've been putting out violent music, which leads me to believe that the feds are more onto Digger than the rest of them. And once you do the research, you get to find out that this was the moment Digger D signed up to be on Obo for the next 50 years. And I get that he was a teenager when he did this, but the feds are going to see him as a nigga that does the violence that he talks about in his music. And he's big enough to convince kids in the royal family that they can be drillers too. So when that song went viral, it didn't take them too long to breach him. I'm guessing he'll be out in the next couple months. But if he wants to stay free, I'll give him this advice. What's more important, your reputation or your freedom? you got to come out with some stay-in-school-kids type of message so you're less of a threat to the feds. But my whole thing is this. There's a man that could be doing life based off the shit that they say in their songs. So for the government to single out Digger D and Miz or Mac, yeah, they should keep that same energy with everyone else. But you lot, let me know how you feel about this one. I'll drop the Charlie Sloth 6 9 video when this one gets 300 likes. New video out soon though. Peace.